Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do uh, What's Happening Wednesday message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and see what Spirit has for the What's Happening Wednesday message. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. What's the message? Pathway. Mature man. Distant Horizons. Put the camera down a little bit. There we go. Great Fortune. All right, y'all. So what I'm getting is that um, when it came to, you know, somebody's path, I feel like that whoever this mature man is, you know, they try to change um, the trajectory of their path. And when they did that, I feel as though um, someone released an attachment, whether it be this mature man or, you know, someone that this mature man was attached to. And the attachment was based off of you know money so let's just hop in and, and see you know what this is yeah somebody's plan changed or somebody's plan failed could be this mature man or again someone that is attached to this mature man and it's so um, it's causing somebody, you know, to unattach and to basically drift off into the sunset. And it, it is about some money. So. Spirit, why is pathway here? Ah. All right. So yeah. So this is my spiritual journey card. This is my you know leaving. This is my right path card. So yeah. Um, there is someone that their path did change. So, uh, whatever plan that they had, it did fail. And whoever this is, you know, they are on the right path or they are leaving a situation. Or this could be, you know, someone that, you know, their plan changed as far as for them to, you know, go on the wrong path. So their plan changed. So now they're on the right path. But let's just keep going. Mature man. Okay, I'm getting it now. So yeah, so I feel as though this mature man, um, he tried to change the tra trajectory of a, of a path. He tried to basically, well, whoever this mature man is went down the wrong path. And he wanted someone to go down the, the wrong path with him. Whoever this is, they decided to get on their spiritual journey and they decided to get on the right path. So when it comes to this um, mature man, uh, 
because this person is, you know, possibly walking away from this mature man because of their spiritual journey, because they want to be on the right path. This mature man is pulling on this person's heartstrings, this person's energy. Or, you know, there could be someone that is competing um, for this mature man or um, this mature man is, you know, competing for this person that, you know, is leaving or, you know, getting on the right path. But I, what I really feel is that there is someone that chose to get on the right path. This mature man chose to, you know, go down the wrong path. The person that is, you know, on their spiritual journey, um, this mature man is basically trying to pull on their heartstrings, pull on their, you know, energy in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Distant Horizons. Yeah. And whoever this mature man is, they are supposed to be, you know, detaching themselves from certain things. With the uh, mature man being a number five card, this mature man, you know, was supposed to, you know, change their toxic ways. But they are still going down the wrong path. And whoever this is that's on their spiritual journey, that is on the right path, they could have, you know, gotten some information about this masculine energy. Um, and that's what made them, you know, decide that, yeah, they're on the wrong path, I'm on the right path, and so I'm moving on. With this mature man that says that he changed, but I feel as though he's still, you know, um, dibbling and dabbling, you know, into worldly things is now pulling on this person's heartstrings. They're pulling on their energy. Um, the mature man is negating the fact that they are supposed to, you know, be detaching themselves from toxic people, places, and things. This mature man is brushing that fact off. So they basically don't want to do the work, but they just, but they want whoever this is on their spiritual journey to basically be with them, you know, follow their lead. And they're going on the wrong path. Great fortune. Could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Mm hmm. Yeah. They're brushing off the fact, yeah, that they're supposed to be, um, you know, releasing, uh, releasing things out of their life. And what it is that they are uh, basically trying to ignore, trying to brush off, is that they are in a family situation somewhere else. And it could be, you know, just for money. But whoever this is, they're in a family situation somewhere else, and they're trying to basically sweep that under the rug like that doesn't exist. So they're pulling on this person's heartstrings that's on this spiritual journey, trying to get them to go down the wrong path. And by the wrong path, I mean trying to get them to be in some type of situation with them, knowing that they have another family situation, again, on the other side. Pathway, spiritual journey. Coffin, yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all can see the cards, can't you? Yeah. Let me scoot these over just a tad bit. Okay. Yeah. So, because this math, this mature man, you know, try to change the tra the trajectory of whoever this is that's on their spiritual journey's path, basically try to manipulate this person to get on the wrong path um whoever this is no they're not with it and so yeah there, there's been an ending and so now this mature man feels some type of way he's still you know doing worldly things toxic things but he wants to continue to pull on this person's energy and this mature man knows that this person is on their spiritual journey mature man uh pulling on your heartstrings on your energy. Yeah. So the high honor card for me represents, you know, several things. One is God himself. Two is a battle, a war, because that's literally what it is on the card. Um, 
And so, yeah. Whoever this masculine is, uh, yeah, they're pulling on this person's heartstrings. They could possibly be trying to disrupt, you know, this person's energy. And so, with that being said, one or two things are happening. But I feel as though spirit has already intervened on the situation because there's an earth angel out here on their spiritual journey trying to do the right thing. And there's someone that is trying to distract them from doing the right thing. And, and to keep going further, not only is this person doing the right thing by staying on their path, they're actually removing this person out of their life so they can continue to stay on the path. So yes, yeah, spirit definitely is intervening on this situation. But I feel as though because... Um, this person is pulling on the heartstrings, you know, they're trying to pull on the energy. Um, this person is getting mad because there's no response. And so they, they do they do feel as though this person is really like, you know, detaching themselves because they can't feel the energy. They can't feel, you know, this person anymore. And so, yeah, they're mad as hell. And they could possibly want to cause some type of altercation or something like that because they do feel your energy, you know, slowly dissipating. In theirs, distant distant horizons and brushing brushing something off. Yeah, mhm. Mm yeah, and yeah, they they see that you know they can't really feel your energy anymore. They feel your your energy slowly drifting off into the sun, into the light, and 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 the fact that the matter is, you know, again they're brushing something off. The fact that they have a whole nother family somewhere else that they basically are just there for money for. Um, and so with that being said, instead of this person facing the truth that, you know, it's done, it's over with, they still want to pull on the heartstrings and they, and, but they're brushing off the fact that they were supposed to end a family situation and change their toxic ways. But because they're so materialistic and because, you know, they worship money and, and things of the world, they're basically choosing to stay in a situation just for material gain. Great fortune, family situation. Yeah, main male. Main male. And then we have sudden wealth that flipped out too. But I'm going to put it back. So yeah. So, where is the change? Because, I mean, depending on your age, um, I feel as though, you know, basically the change is, you know, growing up, growing out of, you know, toxic things, growing out of the world. So, it just means maturing. But, where did, where did it take place? So, the mature man is how this person was trying to have you believe that they were you know they were trying to make you believe that they grew up and you know things of that nature but no 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 they're still young and dumb and you know what else but yeah um they're brushing off the fact that yeah they were supposed to end um this family situation well basically you know it's a karmic situation ship if they're just there for money and change their toxic ways but they're not they're still there and they're still basically the same why wow, is coughing here spirit So we have gossip, lies, envy, you know, this could be friends, family, co-workers, take a hat, resonates. But, um, now that there's been an ending, you know, this person could be possibly, you know, gossiping, lying, you know, to their friends, their family members, you know, about whoever this person is that are on their spiritual journey. Why is the high honor card here, Spirit? Mm. All right. 
So this is my, you know, painting illusions card, but this is also, you know, uh, basically creating illusions right in front of someone's face. And so I feel as though, yeah, this person, whoever this is, that uh, this mature man, you know, that's, you know, pulling on your heartstrings and your energy that could possibly want to cause an altercation, um, they are gossiping, you know, and talking about you. And they're talking about how, basically, how they've been caught. Um, and the fact of the matter is, look at her smiling. But to me, that smile says, you know, like, yeah. I knew this was going to happen. You know, I knew this was coming. I already knew this. You know, I'm a, I'm an earth angel, so I know things. I already knew what this person was doing. That's why I stayed on my path. And I didn't look back. And I'm doing it with a smile on my face. <laughs> wow. Change. Why is this here, spirit? Hold on, y'all. Well, we have my um, emotional card. You know, this is my emotional card. This is my cleansing my energy card. This is my winning card. Um, this is also my water sign card. So this masculine, you know, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or have it in their chart. Um, but yeah, this person was basically, you know, they're gossiping and talking about whoever this is. It's on their spiritual journey. And they're talking about how, you know, they were caught. Um, the fact of the matter is, whoever this mature man is, they're brushing, you know, the fact of them, they're brushing under the rug, the fact that they do need to end this other family situation and change their toxic ways, but they feel, but they feel as though they're winning, you know, this person is very emotional, but at the same time, they feel as though they're winning and they're winning, you know, by material gain by accessing material gain and so that's how why you know they haven't ended this situation and they haven't changed the toxic ways because they feel as though that they're winning in life you know they're winning by you know having money so whoever this person is yeah they're very toxic this this masculine energy main male Yeah. And who, yeah, now this masculine is scared because they've been found out about. But there could also be a feminine energy out here that is scared about something as well. Why is gossiping lying here? Mm, some type of message, some type of letter. So, here, let me keep going. Creating illusions right in front of your face. Why is this here? Despair. Emotional, winning. Cleansing energy. Yeah, and I and I'm also getting too that yeah you are cleansing your energy of this person because um, of their lies and deceit. And I feel as though um, you feel like someone is trying to project negative energy towards you, so you are cleansing your energy. So yeah. There are this person is gossiping, but there could be other people gossiping again. It could be family members, and it is about some type of letter, some type of communication, some some type of something. And it has this masculine energy, you know, in despair. Because honestly, um, this masculine energy never had anything in the beginning. That's why they were choosing to be stuck in this family ship so that they can, you know, receive some money. But whatever this message is, look at it. They look like they hungry, stinking, and starving, don't they? 
so I don't know what the message is hopefully we'll see but now this person goes from you know looking all good to being in despair so whatever message this is you know they basically have been caught and it could have been the message that you received or there could have been you know a message that this uh, feminine energy out here uh, sent out um, whoever this feminine energy that's scared they could have you know sent this gave this masculine some type of message and now this masculine is in despair him and his dog because of the illusions that they were creating and they thought that it was going to uh, basically do something to you basically you know make you come back to them that's what they were trying to do draw you back to them by creating these illusions basically telling you everything that you wanted to hear but look look at you over there just a smiling knowing that they're creating illusions and look at them now in despair Mm-hmm. yeah and so yeah because this masculine refused to you know end this cycle and change their toxic ways they are very emotional um, but the fact of the matter is they did feel like they were winning but now they're in despair because of this message of concern and then we have this uh, feminine energy that is scared and then we have the family room and so everybody knows there are secrets in the family room so whatever this feminine energy is scared about um, this masculine it could have been exposed and so that's why this masculine could be you know in despair and that's why this feminine energy is scared spirit why is message here So this feminine energy could have received some type of letter or some type of message information about whoever this is that is on their spiritual journey. Because whoever this is, you know, um, you could have been a friend to this masculine. You could have been a lover to this masculine. But I feel as though you are the real love to this masculine. But they're just too toxic to see it. And so that's could be why this feminine energy is scared because she's found out about you and so that's how the masculine gets into despair because he probably got put out why is despair here <laughs> fell on the floor yeah excuse me y'all yep yeah this masculine is in despair because um, whoever this feminine energy is could have exposed their secrets and how they expose their secrets is watching and stalking this masculine and so they could have saw the masculine with whoever this is that's on their spiritual journey and so this masculine now is regretful because you know they thought that they were growing financially you know in this situation but really they were just you know causing a tower moment message of concern mm -hmm. yeah so whatever um, this uh, feminine energy the scared feminine energy saw while watching and stalking this masculine um, she could have left some type of a message some type of note for this masculine um, or you know she just could have basically communicated with the masculine you know that hey it's a done deal um, I took all the notes while I was right there watching you and stalking you I've seen everything that you were doing so guess what it's time to go so you know whoever this is you know could have basically written this masculine off and that's why they're in despair now Families, family room. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. 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 So, yeah, this masculine is being written off because uh, the secret has come out to this feminine energy because she saw it with her own eyes. And it is the fact that um, this masculine was dealing with this person uh, that's on their spiritual journey. This is my new love card. This is my happiness card. This is my healing card. This is also my air sign card. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> you could be an air sign or your person or this ma uh or this masculine could be, or it's in somebody's chart, but yeah. And so with that being said, um, because of what this uh, scared feminine energy saw, she is writing off this masculine. Real love. I'll just hear. Mm. Yeah, concern. Watching and stalking. Poverty. Writing something off. Main female. New love, happiness, healing. Community. All right. So, yeah. I feel as though um, now that the secret is out, this masculine, they are very concerned because, you know, whoever they were in this situation, this family ship with, saw them <clears throat> in action pretty much. And so, yeah, now this masculine is in despair because they're living in poverty now, or they're going to be. Um, and so, basically, they could also be in despair because whoever this uh, scared feminine energy is could have told them that if they didn't write off whoever it is on their spiritual journey, this main female, that they were going to be living in poverty. But this masculine, you know, they really do love whoever this is on their spiritual journey. But <clears throat> at the same time, you know, they have this this other situation ship, this third party situation over here. Uh, and whoever this is in uh, this, whoever this is that they're in this, you know, family ship with, they do want to be with this masculine as well. Wise concern here, spirit. All right. So yeah, the the masculine is concerned now um, because basically, whoever you are on your spiritual journey, you you're gone. You know, you're you're on down the road. Um, but they're concerned because now their secrets are out and they could possibly be getting ready to live in poverty. So they're trying to basically decide, you know, which way to go. So they're concerned, you know, that they did jump into this family situation, you know, instead of really listening to spirit pretty much. Why well, is poverty here? Yeah, and and basically they're concerned. This is okay. They're concerned because they did jump into a family situation ship, but they're also concerned. You know that they're going to have poverty, and uh, and they're concerned because they did create you know obstacles and challenges within this family situation ship and with this main female that is on her spiritual journey but really they only created obstacles and challenges for themselves main female Ooh. so when it comes to this main female um, 
there is a child out here. I feel like it's, you know, whoever this child is in this situation, family situationship, that is actually telling the family business. So this child could have told um, the scared feminine energy about the main female. Because this is there's a child telling the family uh, telling family secrets and drama card, so yeah, and so yeah, that's another concern of this masculine is that you know if if that's his kid or whatever he's concerned that you know kids are basically being involved in grown up situations as well, but he's concerned that that's how <laughs> the information got out. Community, why is this here, spirit? Community, why is this here, spirit? Mm. Mm. So the third party, um, yeah. So I, I feel as though. Um, Whoever this child is, they did, uh, you know, share some secrets with another family member about what's going on in their parents' household. But the third party, you know, with the family secrets here and, and all that, the family room, excuse me, they, they did find out that this masculine, you know, basically was in this family ship for some unexpected income. And, that, and it surprised them because they really thought that um, this masculine loved them. And they're surprised because, you know, it could have been this child that told a adult family member, and this adult family member told this scared feminine energy, um, and that's really what created obstacles and challenges for this masculine. But the biggest obstacle and challenge was that they jumped into this family ship, not n not really understanding that you know this main female is on her spiritual journey so she can't involve herself in toxic things like you know sharing people sharing you know with relationships and carrying on all right Spirit, what else do we need to know? Thief. Expectation. Imprisonment. So I feel as though whoever that scared feminine energy is, they feel like that you, you know, were stealing their family from them. And I feel as though, you know, they could have tried to lie on you or something like that. Um, but whoever this mature man, whoever the masculine is, they could have, you know, tried, they could have stole something from um, the scared feminine energy. 
And so uh, the scared feminine energy, uh, whoever this masculine is, could have lied on you and told them that you did it. Because maybe he could have stole something from the scared feminine energy. And so with that being said, the scared feminine energy, you know, is under the assumption that you stole it. And so they're respecting you to go to jail um, for for some money. So yeah, that was one of the secrets in the family room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this masculine that he's in a relationship with uh, I mean, the, the the relationship that this masculine is in. Um, because the, the secrets are out. So the scared feminine energy could have found out about this as well. They're slowly, you know, releasing this masculine too. Yeah, they're working on ending, you know, something with this masculine. And basically changing their lifestyle. Changing their location. Uh... Yeah, changing their number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, yeah. Um, someone's going through bad health. It could be this mature man that chose to go down a path. Marriage is here, so this mature man could have possibly married whoever this scared feminine energy is. And they're in despair because they're in poverty now. Yeah, because, yeah, there's been an ending. Privileged lady in coffin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why is thief here, spirit? Why is thief here? Ah, divine feminine, feminine energy. So, yep, yeah, they did. They tried to say that you stole something. <laughs> Sad. Expectation. Mm hmm. They were expecting you to go to jail, but you rejected this energy, you know, to protect yours. Imprisonment. Mm hmm. Yep. These people are childish, immature, and petty. And that's pretty, especially this masculine. But I feel as though this masculine manipulated the scared feminine energy to be childish, immature, and petty. Sudden wealth. Wow. So someone was trying to retaliate and get back at you. And it could have been the masculine energy for you basically, you know, choosing to go down the right path. Family room. Yeah, but whoever you are in your spiritual journey, you're seeing through the fog. You're seeing through, you know, the secrets. You're seeing, you know, what's really going on. But you've seen it a long time ago when this masculine was painting the illusions. You already knew what was up. Courtship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. You got truth and clarity. You found out, yeah, this masculine had a whole nother family on the other side. Distant horizons. Yep. So you started to separate from people. Well, separate from this masculine. Occupation. Yeah. There is some type of letter, text, email, voicemail or something. It could be about a job situation or it could be just someone, you know... Yeah. Working towards uh, ending something and changing their toxic ways. So 
now that this masculine secrets are out, now that, you know, this other feminine energy don't want them no more, now they're going to try to reach out to you and say that they're working on um, basically getting out of being in between you, you, the two feminine energies, you and the other one. Yeah. They're going to reach out and tell you that they are, you know, ending it and they are trying to change their toxic ways. Bad health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they could be, you know, going through some, some bad health, some karma for being in the karmic contract for money. What about Divine Feminine? Yeah. Yeah. They wanted you to go down the wrong path. They try to say that you were going down the wrong path. They try to say that you were a thief. Reject to protect. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's why you decided to reject their energy to protect yours. Because whoever this masculine is, he is going down the wrong path. And he's stuck in his old ways. And, uh, childish, immature, and petty. Yeah. So there could be a court situation because someone could be imprisoned. Um, it could be the masculine energy, but there is some type of court situation going on. And if these people are married, it could possibly be, you know, a divorce or whatnot. But divine timing is at play. Retaliation, get back. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, whoever it is that's trying to retaliate and get back at you, they're, go they're under karma. They're going through karma and they're under judgment. Seeing through the fog. Yeah. And now that you're seeing through the fog, yeah. This masculine definitely is having anxiety and depressions. Now that you know that, you know, they're lying pretty much. They're just, you know, keeping secrets. They're having anxiety and depression because you did receive truth and clarity. Truth and clarity. Yeah. And yeah, this masculine ha is having anxiety and depression because he knows that he needs to surrender to spirit. Separating from people. Wow. Identity theft and fraud. So this court situation could be about this identity theft and fraud. So, pot twist. So yeah, uh, divine feminine, feminine energy. They were trying to yeah steal from you, and they weren't expecting to go to jail. So there is someone that is in jail. You poss possibly don't know, but you're gonna know. You're gonna find out. There's a court situation, and I feel as with this letter, email, text, or voicemail. Yeah, you're going to get some type of letter. And in the beginning, with that message, that is the letter. That letter about these people doing work doing whatever they did this identity theft and identity fraud letter email yeah time is up time is up whoever these people whoever did this whether it be both of them or just the masculine or the feminine whoever it is they're they're getting karma they're under judgment and it's not going to stop there in between two lovers mm. yeah the masculine should have listened more and talked less karmic contract for money yeah, divorce, separation, or breakup. So yeah, this masculine is definitely going through bad health because they are in a karma contract for money and they're possibly under judgment and it probably doesn't feel good. But the fact of the matter is, yeah, now they're getting ready to go through a divorce, separation, or breakup. What else do we need to know, Spirit? Yeah, this masculine definitely needs to face the truth. There is getting ready to be some type of change. And the fact that the matter is, yeah, mm -mm -mm. yep. And whoever the real love, the true love, you, the God feminine, you're getting ready to get some unexpected money, probably from this identity theft situation. Yeah, toxic energy, legal issue, legal issue lawsuit. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's a court situation that has your name on it. 
I, I, I have a, a message about this maybe from a month ago, uh, maybe some weeks ago, talking about this. But yeah, uh, when it comes to this legal issue, yeah, there's some some truth that's going to be spoken in court about these people playing games with you. And whoever these, whoever did it, they're gonna, they're definitely uh, learning karmic lessons because they keep going through karmic cycles, and they're also learning karmic lessons about fake, li fake love. Yeah, they need to stop the cap. They need to stop lying. But you have divine spiritual protection. Yep, and you're walking away and moving forward. The past is haunting them. Because, that, yeah, they could have been doing black magic and spells. And there was some illegal activity caught on camera. They were just trying to disrupt your energy. But guess what? You're still on balance. They are gossiping and lying. This could be your twin flame. But this twin flame knows they need to proceed with caution. And they're worried and scared. Because either they're going to jail or they're in jail. The time is now. They try to cause you to take a loss. This false person, this karmic, whoever it is. They should have chose a different path. They try to betray you, deceive you. The false person was envious and jealous of you. Yeah, but you're getting some wisdom, knowledge, and enlightenment about what? Money from a court situation. Cannot make it up, y'all. So, I don't know who this message was for, but I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon.